Welcome to Obsessed Garage. What you're looking at here, everything laid out on the countertop here, is 25 years of my pursuit, my obsession. I'm obsessed with products and what I call functional excellence. So what I'm doing, and this is an idea a buddy of mine gave me, I don't know why I never came up with it, but it's a genius idea, in that I'm gonna give somebody a version of my garage with flooring, lighting, lift, cabinets, 20 plus drawers of uh, Sonic tools, uh, every single detailing product that I use in my, in my process, and I'm gonna give it to somebody, I'm gonna fly to their house, uh, and we're gonna install it together and make their version of an obsessed garage. We're gonna choose colors, choose cabinets, choose uh, lighting, choose to make it just like mine. So go to obsessedgarage.com, click on the banner image. It'll take you to how to win. You gotta buy some shirts or some hats or become a member of my, uh, my personal inside the, inside the Hex membership program. And that'll give you a chance to win a garage just like mine. All right, so today's video is to get proper plug wires, plugs, boots, uh, in the car uh, to make sure that uh, well, I'm running properly. So I got a, a check engine light, we threw a code. A lot of guys that own, uh, was it LT4s, a lot of guys that own the, the, this, this version of the, this engine uh, have been telling me that you really don't have a choice, you're gonna get an O2 sensor code. Uh, but I'm also getting a misfire code. Uh, so I'm gonna change the plug wires and uh, gap properly because the plugs that I got weren't correct. Uh, we were so deep in it working on the project that I didn't, I didn't even think to do a whole heck of a lot of research, which I'm sure you know, many of you can yell at me for that, but uh, I've got a lot going on. So this isn't my priority, this car. It's just a fun little project that I'm working on. So I got a gap tool here and uh, we're gonna set the gap to 0 .030, uh, 0 0.030 inches, which would be point 75 millimeters. I think that ought to be appropriate for, I'm gonna have an intake on the car, it's supercharged, uh, long tube headers, high flow cats, so I should, uh, I th I'm gonna try the a .030 gap. I think that stock, stock gap on these is .040. Uh, so we're going to, we're, we're setting the gap a little bit tighter. I've also gone with one step colder. Uh, these are uh, uh, NGK Iridium. These are LTR 7.9 or 7 version 9, 7iX, uh, stock number 6510. I think I had uh, LTR 55s or what I got from the darn store down the street, uh, which was uh, not the right, not the right plugs. And to be honest with you, I've never gapped a darn plug in my freaking life. I always buy, you know, if I'm, if I'm like, Porsches are pre-gapped, uh, BMWs are pre-gapped. And so uh, I had to go over to an old man, had to go talk to my dad to say, how the heck do I do this? So he's whacking them on the, uh, on the, on the uh, vice over there. So I'll show you how, you know, how, how I'm gonna do this. And you can yell at me later about how you suggest this is done. All right, so we got, uh, power cores that Ted and my dad are just getting all set up. So current gap on these is point, I think point 0.4, according to a uh, bottom from Texas Speed. And these are iridium, so we gotta be careful not to go too far if we can help it. That feels, that feels pretty good. Okay. There's one. So I'm taking a 0 .24, 0 .024 and 0 .006, combining them to get the proper gap. So we're gonna set these all up, take all the other ones out. So I gotta take apart some stuff on the car. And I guess this video will probably live on its own. I did, we did take plug wires and all that stuff off when I did the uh, header install. So it is in that video, but we'll make this a standalone video for just this. Be interesting how much you guys yell at me for gapping them this way. So I've owned a lot of cars and changed a lot of spark plugs. I never had to do this. And I actually had one of these gauges in the cab and I didn't even know it. This, is about this, one. this one has the wire feelers, so you can just run it through like that. 
but this is the most important part of it. Is this? So if you go too pull, far, yeah, I don't go too far, Bryce. I'm precise. I'm very precise. So you just run that through it like that, what do you got? What do you got? and you go yep. like that. So if you go too far, but so these don't. Uh, it doesn't look straight when you get them gapped properly, though. They kind of. I mean, it will never be straight. Your gap yeah. depends on like how far and hot your spark can be. Yeah. So it just depends on how the engine set up like if like on my focus sc i had i ran two step colder plugs on there and they yeah. gapped a little tighter yeah so these are one step colder one step colder plugs and considerably tighter gap largely due to the fact that we're making with headers and the intake that i have coming we'll be you know making about i think about 50 horsepower more than stock Feel like a real, real man doing this. It's like real man stuff. I think we're pretty good. We get lots of HPs now. I feel more involved in the process here since I get to gap my own plugs. It's right about 0.35 actually. What? <laughs> Give me that. <laughs> what? Crap, I just put it away. 0.035. I need to go a little more. Check them. Let me see this. <laughs> Do you want to use this thing? It's a little bit easier. Just run the wire through. There we go. Catches or not. I think it moved. We got two gauged. Two gauge precision. That one's good. Good? Yep. So that's how you gap them. Let's go install them. All right, so let's open up our fancy little boots. I just wanna see how this, what this looks like before I start taking parts out. So hopefully, I guess I can always cut them back if I needed to, but I think I ordered the right length. So these will protect heat shield, protect our wires from melting on our long tube headers. If I can get this through here. I'm learning about all kinds of old school stuff. I'm assuming it's gonna be easier to put the, the tube sock on here first. Yeah, I think that's the right, that's the ticket right there. And my street cred's about to go up, thanks to Raz on this one. So these are eight inch, eight inch titanium, no rings. Cool. Okay, so let's tear apart this. Luckily, I know how to do this now. Uh, do I need, I need to disconnect the battery? Dang, I don't wanna do that. Oh, I forgot I need to buy a tow hook. Just pull the negative off. Well, he's got me all self-conscious about how I hold my ratchet. I just blame it on I'm trying to stay away from the darn camera so I can make it look good. So I need to just jam this in there to hold that back. Okay. Good. So now we can put, pull the fuse box out. Pull these little tabs back on the left and right. Lift that. Tab. Tab. Lift the box up. And pull this back. Chelsea pulled this one off, so I don't remember how to do this one. Does that come off? Ah, other way. So let me pull this 13 mil off. So you always look smarter. Like I look a lot smarter when I'm working on my BMW because I've worked on it before. There's one. Two. So there's the fuse box. And then these 
push this little clip back or toward and they pop loose and they push this way. Gotta take all these little 13s off. Uh, these are 10s. 10 or 11, I think it's a 10. I decided not to wrap the fender. Should be all right, which for just plugs, I'm not gonna be leaning on it very much. Move that out, so there's three of these in this box. The box is ready to come out. And out. Fuse box out, now I got access to the plugs. So, I don't have to take, yeah, I've got to take the cover off, so that's a T30. The other side, I don't have to remove as much. What I'm actually going to do here is bring the car up a bit. Pull out this vent tube. So these T30s don't come out all the way. There you go. That way you don't drop them. It's kind of a smart little, little move there, GM. Okay. Now they make proper plug removing which I do have, which we didn't use before. Check this out. I got all these fancy tools. Although I don't know that this one is quite big. Yeah, so it's perfectly. And pull out. So I'm gonna be swapping these wires out. GM spec. It's possible that we've damaged a few. I'm glad I didn't go buy one of these too, because I should know better with all the Sonic stuff that I have. And I already have all the right stuff. And because we already messed with the headers and had these out, it seems like super easy. <clears throat> All I'm doing is just taking, trying not to squeeze this too much, and then I'm able to push on the head. So there's four plug wires. Now I've got all kinds of these fancy spark plug removal tools. Let's see what size we got here. These should be the same. That's not correct. <laughs> That's cool. So see, it won't let it drop. Okay, it's a 16 mil, I think. So what do you think, a little short little extension on here? So I'll tell you what, it's a lot easier to do this when you've done it before. So you can tuck this on there. take all four of them out and then put the new ones in because I you know I'll mess that up it's like everything just unnecessarily long <laughs> maybe these are unnecessarily long but then long yeah these are wrong these are LTR fives I like this little plug uh, this plug socket is awesome Keeps from dropping on the ground. <clears throat> Two 
third one's easy, and then the fourth one, not so easy to get to. Yeah, stop complaining. Not long enough. Ah, oh, you suck. <clears throat> one more on this side, let's see. Do some anti-seize. Don't go crazy on this because it'll end up on the back of your neck, on your earlobes, on your toes somehow. Stuff gets everywhere. Okay, here we go. Now I'm feeling good about this. I got some real plugs. I did some due diligence, picked the right ones, got the gap set. I don't think I'm going to get the torque, the torque wrench in here. Can you get me a torque spec, somebody? Torque spec, uh, hand tight. Yeah, well. I don't know. Look up Corvette C7 uh -oh. torque spec. Yeah. Good and tight. Like, like an oil filter. There you go. Just don't, don't. I think I can get this on. Nope. Yeah, we're just going with uh, with my calibrated arm, wrist tight. No anti seize if you're using NGK iridium. Oh crap. <laughs> really? That's what this guy says. Yeah. So here I was thinking I'm doing this right and I put anti-seize on them and you don't want to put anti-seize on them. But I wiped it off. Wipe off any excess. All right, plug number two. What, anti-seize? Yeah, say, uh, since they have a silver or chrome finished color called. So say when you put anti-seize on there, it can skew your torque values. The threads can break if you try and remove them. Over torque. 11 foot pounds, eh? 11 foot pounds is nothing, dude. And that's literally it. That's what my calibrator wrist is telling me. Just a little baby. A baby Titan. Last one on this side. I might need your baby hands, Bryce. I gotta check the gap. Where'd it frickin' go? I'm already dirty. You going under? Yeah, why don't I just put the freaking car up? Get this freaking thing on here. Good. Okay. Let's put our plug wires on. This project on this side is done. There we go. This is like an audible physical little snap you can feel. That looks pretty good, don't you think? I like it to go all the way down. Alright, let's do the back one. Oh shoot, I didn't take the thing off. There's a real easy to feel pop once it goes in. And I'm just trying to pull the jacket back down around it. That one's done. Now these two should be easier. 15. Boom! Let's put our box back in and wrap this side up. Let me take a picture. Before you freak out, I wiped this down last time I put it on, so... And that was a couple of days ago. this wire out of there, put the vent back on, so T30, I feel good about this Bryce. You're a real muscle car man, garage man now. Yeah, I gapped my plugs, put some MSDs on. What's the torque spec on this plastic cover? 
one one wrist pump. What am I forgetting? This seems to be going too easily. AC line back on. Back in, in. In, in, in. There's three of these. This one is not as easy to get to. Plugs intake should be here soon. I emailed Jeremy at Faster Proms. I ordered, a, you want to talk about websites, I ordered from Haltech, Haltech intake. Oh my gosh. Got an $1,800 intake from a GeoCities site. What's wrong with these people? Bryce, how long would it take you to build a website for Haltech? They have like eight products. Uh, a day. A day? Probably. They have eight products, they have all the information. <laughs> Way less than that. I'd, I'd say I, you could do it in about well, five, four and a half hours. You gotta, you gotta get images and yeah. stuff right. Make it look good. Take yeah. a day on that. So I'm not sure if that intake is gonna actually get here, but I ordered one. I'm not too confident it's gonna show up. It'll show up like the, it'll be like the headers halfway out of the box. carbon fiber it's got to be in the box or else it's not gonna fare so well that's done as well boom it goes in there okay good sides all done all right side B is a whole lot easier to do theoretically that's why I did the other side first but this is day two. We ran out of time last night. Yeah, no anti-seize. We got everything gapped. This side I can theoretically reach a lot easier. We got, we got fancy tools. All the tools. Plug, plug thing or tool. This Corvette is going to make some other guy really happy when I'm done with it. Two. Okay. Uh-oh. Blood hand. Never fails. I think it was this size. And then we used the 19. Nineteen. I think I can get this done, Bryce. I think I can do it. I think it really matters putting dielectric crap on this thing. I'm going to stick with the same formula though of taking them all out and then putting them all in so I don't question myself. It's kind of interesting how they put left hand side on, they put RH and LH on pretty much everything on this car. Interesting. I find that actually pretty helpful. Even like the spindles and suspension components, the heat shields. Gosh! Oh no. That's a bad one, Bryce. You got too hasty. That one's sitting on top of the header somewhere. Lord knows where. You're gonna have to go baby in there. Baby hands in there. Here you go. You see it? Sitting on, the sitting on the back side of the header there. Oh, see it? No, that. Yeah, you can get that. Come on, bro. I'm gonna hold you, hold you by the ankles, and knock it down there a little bit more. Did you get it? Come on. We're, we're on a time crunch. We're on a major time crunch. Got your whole body in there. If I fall over, I'm gonna break my finger. You got a peanut gallery over here too. Yeah, I can hear Ted chuckling. <laughs> Ted's over there chuckling at you. Uh, Could it be easier, like just like lift this up? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the primary.
Well, it's, 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 go, down. put it up. So I'll be wasting time. You're messing up my timer. I'm at nine minutes. I'm at nine minutes. I'm sweating. I gotta get a new windshield for this thing. I should have just done that first thing. Windshield's jacked. That was a 10 minute detour. On number four. I'm not dropping nothing again this time. Yeah, I was thinking on that last one, like, oh, it gotta be almost all the way out. Well, you're Drop. Going. There we go. I'm like throwing a brand new set of plugs away. New plugs gapped appropriately. I think the gaps changed overnight. 11 foot pounds. That's all we need. In the, the Corvette community, we call that one extra twist a -roo. Since I'm now in the club. I don't know if they let me in the club though. I think I've been kicked out of the club. Tell you what though, I went to the BMW car club 50th anniversary and it was equally equally Corvette-y. I thought I was at the Corvette convention. Yeah, it's way better without anti-seize. Screw that anti-seize bullcrap. I'm never gonna take these out again anyway. Screw the next guy. I'll have it protected enough for him. Keep going. I think we're gonna get in our deadline, man. I might not get the cover back on, but we got Mike in there getting the podcast set up for us so we can jerk around out here dropping stuff on the floor. Okay. Plugs are in. Why do I feel like I'm forgetting something? These things are, these Amazon little heat shields are pretty darn nice, man. I guess I just bought them on Amazon. They're not really Amazon. <sighs> sure, our plug isn't bound up. Good. Okay. One, two, three, four. Let's ram this thing back on here. crawl through the back. You can't open the door without the uh alright I forgot to I closed the trunk. Should take my shoes off but this interior is jacked anyway. Oh man I disconnected the battery isn't there a safety release in here somewhere? I don't see one. There's all kinds of goofy tethers for uh, stupid stuff. All right, let me out of here. I'm sweating. It's because I worked out this morning. I can't stop sweating. I'm, I'm trapped. I literally don't think I can move. My hips are caught in between the seat. Ah! Don't close the trunk. I didn't close it, I just sat it. And then it pulled. I don't know what happened. I'm not gonna try to justify the stupidity here. Oh. All right, so. Let's try to start it now. Let me let me connect the battery first. I need a 10 mil. Connect this up here. We'll start it up and then call it a wrap. Well, that's assuming it starts. All right, battery's on. Remind me on my list of things. I've got to get a new tow hook. Is what I need to get. I like this. Yeah. Oh, soft close. Self close. All right, here we go, people. Time to hear some bald eagles. I'm gonna let some bald eagles loose. How could anyone spend all this money on all these car parts and not have a garage door opener? How? That's what I don't know. I like to keep your lats engaged, Ted. Uh-oh.
No more check engine light. Oh, I forgot the mic's right here. Let's give it a little goose. <laughs> we need to deepen it up though, it's so raspy. But man, oh, it's running way better. Don't you think? Look at that engine. It goes a little, little twerk, a little twerk. You should be revving on a cold engine, bro. All right, people, that project is done. So that's how you, I don't wanna say that's how you should do it, but that's how I did spark plug wires and spark plugs and gapped them. Car, it sounds, you know, it doesn't sound like it's misfiring anymore. So now we got proper plugs, proper wires, proper setup. Uh, I'm gonna go get it aligned in the next eight months or so. I'll get it there. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more crazy. More Corvette stuff coming. Uh, I'm gonna work on the shifter maybe this afternoon. Thanks for watching. Ooh, yeah. My favorite. Did you see that smoke coming out of it though? Yeah. <laughs> I think it was about to blow up. That wasn't a Ford Focus? No, that was like a BMW or something. Oh my gosh. That means you gotta get that special tune, man. The car doesn't fart enough. Can you make it fart? But sir, it doesn't really need to make that noise. There's no benefit to that. Yeah, but I like how it sounds. <laughs>